Hey, what's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today I am super excited to say we are finally going to get our first look at Article 1. That's right. So, the long-awaited, much-hyped cover shooter from 4A Games has finally been released, and man, let me tell you, not hating on it. I've been playing this the last couple of nights, and it's pretty damn fun. Graphics are great, sound effects, the storylines building, the atmospheres are gorgeous, the movement, hmm, I'll get into that in the review. Anyway, come along with me now as we take a look at Article All 1. All right, here we are, and uh, you know, I know you guys are probably seeing a lot of videos today that are showing the beginning of the game, the tutorials, things like that. Um, you know, I've been playing it the last couple of nights, and I kind of just want to just jump in right where I'm at. So uh, we'll, we'll kind of take a look around the apartment here for a second, and then we'll go ahead and jump into the mission. But, you know, this is a few interactive things you can do. Like, you can open the windows here and kind of get a look at the bleak, snow-covered world outside. And you can turn the the heat lamps on and off here. Uh, you can uh, take a look at the holographic map which is going to show your missions and you know this is where you kind of select where you want to go and you can kind of spin it around. So pretty cool, you know, holograms, sucker for holograms in VR. Break a bottle, you know. Now here, like I said in the intro, and I'm, I'm going to try not to harp on it, you know, throughout the gameplay. I, over a couple of days, I, I gotta say, I have gotten used to the teleport thing, but uh, uh, just don't get me started. Anyway, so, you know, we just basically look at the teleport and boom, it just instantly just uh, shifts us over here. Now, moving around and exploring, not bad. I mean, you know, I can still make use of my room scale, so I can still walk around in the environments. Um, at least it didn't pull a Wilson's heart where, you know, you couldn't even move like, you know, one inch off of center before it blacked out. But, uh, you know, when you get into combat, as you guys will see here when we start the mission, that's where it really starts to get to me. So, all right. Let's go ahead and go to the armory and see if we have any upgrades available. Now, graphically, oh man, I mean, it's all the little details, like like this dirt in, in the little glass panes here and things like that. It just, it, it just the, the way the light reflects off of the metal of the doors is just super cool. Okay, so here's our weapons area. <laughs> we got a rift here, that's really cool. That's from the intro. Uh, spray paint can, we can actually change the color of our weapons if we want, so. I can grab the can here, and let's say we want to make it you know, white, so we just kind of spray down our weapons. Give it a little personalization. And then, of course, we can buy all sorts of weapon upgrades. It looks like I got 322 grand in the bank here, so we'll go ahead and uh, see what we can't buy here. Let's see if there's any new attachments I want. And, you know, you got all sorts of different attachments for the weapons. Um, Pretty cool stuff. Warm spectrum. The cool spectrum. Ooh, this is going to show enemies even if they're hiding behind walls or obstacles. That's pretty cool. This can provide a new weapon with auto aim capability. Ooh, okay, so we'll, we'll check that out. I like some auto aim, and then it 3D prints your accessory, which I thought was kind of cool. And while we're waiting for that, oh, headshot! Headshot! I forgot I got this cool thermal scope here on this gun. So, and you know, I mean, that does make it somewhat satisfying that I can come in here and I can upgrade my weapon and my anyway, so kind of kind of gives it a little bit more than just finishing missions so um, let's see. yeah put that bad boy on there oh nice okay so you can move the how is that interesting okay well, we'll play with that one in the field Okay, and back to the elevator, and we'll go down to the garage and start our mission. 
Got the groovy elevator music. You know. Well, these are the coordinates you got from the runner. Doesn't look like much, though I'm detecting some underground thermal activity here. I wonder if it was a trick. Or a trap. The Firebird got here a few moments ago. He may have already found out something. Alright, well let's go see what he found out. So... I hear you are too. Where are you, dude? Oh. There's my friendly drone. You gonna show me something cool, bud? Oh, hey, watch those icicles, man. Put Ralphie's eye out with that. Where are we going, buddy? Over there? Alright. Uh-oh, I hear him. Okay. And reloading is kind of interting. With the revolver type weapon, they've got it kind of like the uh, dead and buried, where you got to kind of flip it out. Uh, with the uh, automatic weapons here, you have to actually like just place it at your hip and it auto reloads. Sorry for talking over the. Uh... Where are you, man? I hear you. definitely have to put your weapons away from most things that you operate. interesting effect how it's the metal scraping the metal and it made the sparks like i said i mean you know there's so much little attention to details in this game um i love the wind whipping um you know the little particles of snow everywhere um but then we get to this and it's like where do i go so maybe i gotta move this forward again yeah okay See, I'm sitting here waiting for the teleport node because I don't know what I'm supposed to do next because I obviously think that I need to teleport to a specific spot. What? Um, you talking to me, bro? question. No, 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 okay. Like, see, like that, I would have run back from that. Wait, am I still getting hit here? But it didn't even give me a chance. It didn't even give me another teleport node to jump back away from the mine.
approach. Careful. A lone they can't damage you too much. But keep an eye out for any that are near each other. Together they could do some real damage. Good to know. Oh nice, I like the way it reels in there. What you get? Ooh, nice like lighting in here. Shaft. Let the firebird see if you can get inside. Alright, firebird, do your thing. Yeah, Watch wow is down. right. That's a there. way cool Looks effect. Like you need to in. Attach the line in your holster. You <laughs> Hopefully you're not claustrophobic. Uh, oh, this is cool. Well, this is like making me weak in my knees, but in a cool, good way. Oh, oh, that felt really cool. Oh, I liked it. Would do again. Nice moves up there. Let's keep it smooth, like in the vent shaft. Like that one time in the vent shaft? I thought we weren't supposed to talk about that. Oops, that's a couch. Must not have my boundaries turned on. Check your weapons and head to the generator. Okay. Check around the room. So this is just a glow stick. Wait a minute. Okay. Power chain cut detected. Check the current order to start all switches on the wall with fuses. Okay. So B2.
There we go. There we go. Let there be light. Yeah. Uh, oh, that now that does bring up another point um, because it just caught my eye. Very cool effect in this game is, is when I speak, it actually produces the uh, the cold breath here. And you can see it's it's only when I speak. So that's really, really, really cool. In fact, I have actually commented that this is one of those easy, cool presence multipliers that any developer can do to any of their games is add uh, the use of the mic in the Rift uh, as a gameplay element. So yeah, very cool for a, just wanted to point that out. Here, order number 38-2, subject treatment, uh, corrective number four, test subject body fragments are not to be removed from the lab without any order. In case of test failure, special treatment for the subject must be administered immediately. Large enemy force. I think shit's about to get interesting, boys and girls. Uh oh. No, no, uh, yeah, no. Oh, where are you at? That's strange. Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably not the best thing to shoot out the lights right now, Don, idiot. Here. 
Okay, or maybe not. Yeah, there's a card. It seems to be blank. Search for some kind of way to program a key into it. Ah, a tablet. Try to search it for information. I can't leave him alive. Oh, where are you, though? You, you sound close. In there. Alright, well, I don't have my key card anymore. Looking. 4207. This is the 22nd attempt, Professor. I'm running out of patience. Please, Mr. Mitchell, I've told you before, these things cannot be rushed. I'm going as fast as I can. And I've told you, we don't have forever to make this work. Yeah, right like now. You. Citadel Security is the only corporation to have this technology. Everyone else is working on figuring it out for themselves. We can't let them beat us to it. I've done as much as I can. I even went and got those samples from the lab myself, as you ordered. We've already made great strides. Great strides. Right. Better get back to the damn drawing board. Yeah, buddy. voices you just heard? The first one is Jack Mitchell, a former Citadel mercenary like you. He had a temper and an ego, and one night he couldn't control either and killed someone. He escaped to the outside, taking Citadel supplied guns and the teleporter. We thought he had died of exposure. This explains a lot. Jack knows so much about this place. He can reprogram the robots, the turrets, the satellites, and it's clear the bandits have joined forces under him. This isn't just a hideout. This is where they're based. The other man is a scientist named Glebov. My parents worked with him at the university before he was kicked out for unethical research. Jack probably learned about him from me. Glebov's obviously been working with Jack to duplicate the Dell teleportation technology, but thankfully he hasn't succeeded yet. We have to get into their service and find out everything we can about what he plans to do. One thing's for sure, Jack Mitchell isn't someone who'd use that technology to make the world a better place. Sample is in active position. Transferring power to Alpha Source. Do it. McFly's ass. Computators are ready. Fire. 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 I hate these 
these fucking creepy things. Ah! You won't see me. I'll get you for How this. How the hell did he get she... Yeah, so far the gunplay is great, but it's not that challenging. Look around and see if you can find anything useful. See, that's kind of what I was talking about in the intro. It's like, yeah, for a couple of seconds here, I'm just standing here. He didn't even notice I'm here because I teleported behind him. Um, so the AI definitely takes some time to react to those movements. And that's, that's why I just don't like the node teleportation in this. Um, Come in. I shot that guy in the neck like ten Fuck. times. Shoot him! Shoot him! Facing the wrong way. Buddy. I've never seen a fight like this. Jack's got them scared. What? <laughs>
Oh, what happened? Oh, See, he was still shooting down there. I'm over here. It's almost like they just go to free position and spots and just stand there. Is that Firebird? Get it? Get what we needed? See now, I've, where am I supposed to go? Got no teleport mode. Oh, yeah, I'm it's moving. Way you. Way. Mm. And see now, I've got a teleport mode, and I'm pressing the button, and I'm not teleporting to it. I don't know what's up with that. There we go. See, I had to like literally get closer. So not only is it node-based teleport, but it's like very picky node-based teleport. Just drop my guns. So I, you know, I think this is probably a good place to cap it here. Um, you know, I don't want to make the video too long, and obviously I don't want to give too many spoilers away for those who are going to play the game. But you know, my final thoughts, man. Look. I know I said a lot of crap in the intro about the movement, and, th and that does stand true. I hate this node-based teleport. I wish it would die. I wish it would just go away. Regular teleport I can kind of deal with, especially if it's, you know, Robo Recall style, where I can choose the direction I'm facing as I teleport. But guys, 4A Games, I implore you, please take suit of other developers that have done this and released their games with you know without options on locomotion and just patch the game to have at least standard teleport i mean free movement would be just oh, glorious in this game i mean it would actually finally be the triple a you know fps shooter that i've been looking for a little bit better ai some free movement man this would take the cake this is awesome but uh you know, I, I don't know. I'm not going to rant about it anymore. The game is beautiful. The, the, the It is fun. It's got great story. It's got great atmosphere. Lots of little attention to detail. So I'm still going to recommend this one. Um, you know, it, it, it definitely, the locomotion may not be for everybody's taste. It's, it's definitely not for mine, but it's not going to stop me from buying or playing this game. Um, you know, there's been a lot of hate over on Reddit, you know, oh, I'm not going to buy this because it has this. Look, it, it's still a really great game. You know, if I can get through it, anybody can get through it. But again, 4A games, patch it, patch that stuff out. Anyway, that's all I've got tonight, guys. So thank you as always for coming by and checking out what I do here on the channel. Um, if this was your first time watching a video on my channel, I'm sorry it was a ranty one like this, but you know, I just, I finally, I've been looking forward to this game for so long and yeah, I knew it was going to be this type of teleport, but I just didn't know it was going to be this disorienting. So, uh, I apologize, but you know, head over to my main page, take a look through my videos. You never know what you're going to find in there. And if you find some other stuff that you like where I'm not being such a whiny little bitch, smash subscribe man come along with me next time i do something cool in vr and of course if you're already a subscriber on my channel guys thank you so much for everything you do to help me grow this uh we we're approaching 5300 subscribers and i as i always say i owe that to each and every one of you guys so Let's, let's talk about this down in the comments. Let you tell me your thoughts on all this locomotion stuff. Tell me I'm, you know, being a whiny bitch for, you know, uh, ranting about it. I don't care. Let's just, let's, let's have an open conversation about VR locomotion. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll see you in the next one, guys. This is VR Gamer Dude. Signing off, y'all. Peace.